Hi there. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, so, I can. My, yeah, my, my box hasn't been green, I couldn't tell. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm Adam's, one of Adam's PhD students at UCL. Um, and my main focus is on hyperspectral imaging. Um, but I've also done some work with image registration on a couple of case studies. Uh, so I've got an example of that in the next slide, please. Uh, so this is a case study we did a couple of years ago now. Um, it's with the Guildhall Art Gallery in London. Um, and they had this painting uh, by Pointer of Israel and Egypt. And there are reports in the Illustrated London News that the composition was changed after it was purchased, which was after its first exhibition. Um, and we wanted to basically image it to see if we could see in the underdrawings or anything in the infrared, which would make that easy to identify. Uh, so on the bottom left, you can see there's a, a sort of an RGB image, uh, which was taken with a DSLR camera. Um, and that was done with image mosaicing using PG GUI as well. Um, and then in the bottom left, uh, it's the same DSL, DSLR camera, but it was modified. So we removed the infrared filter uh, from the camera and the same kind of pipeline uh, of imaging. So I think there were six images taken across that, uh, the painting and stitched together. Um, and then in the top right image, uh, you can see that's the uh, Illustrated London News uh, copy. So that's from the British Museum uh, archives. And we think that was printed using a wood engraving. Um, and then in the bottom right, uh, there's an image from the Osiris infrared reflectography camera. Uh, so we had, we took that with us and we kind of got, we got one fairly low resolution overview image of the painting. And then we got a few high resolution areas and mosaic them together. And the kind of the mosaicing of that at kind of different resolutions was quite challenging. And then we also registered all of those images together, um, kind of, yeah, the, the high resolution images together, um, which was a bit more straightforward. Um, and then there's kind of an interactive viewer which looks like that's, that's basically a screenshot of the interactive viewer uh, is on the bottom left, um, but it's not it's not quite as nice as uh, Rob's curtain viewer, but it they're all synchronized uh, together. I think that, that's me done. <laughs> 